You touched on, on safety a little bit, but can you talk about the safety of magtine and, and, and even the dosage? Can, can we, is it yeah. okay if we take too much or are there possible side effects? So uh, as a scientist, obviously we always concern, I mean, particularly, uh, you know, at some point I was even worried, if we develop magtine as the drug, our concern for safety is much less. The reason for that is the, when you develop a drug, FDA approve a drug based on two criteria, ratio between the improvement, you know, efficacy of the drug divided by the toxicity. Mm -hmm. So if you look at anti-cancer drug, almost all the drugs have significant side effects, but it's okay because they improve your, you know, help you to live, live longer. So, that, so that, that's normal. For the magnesium cyanide, we actually consider two parts. Magnesium itself, it's safe. 100% safe, I can say. Why? Mm -hmm. Because RDA of magnesium is 420. And average American right now take 260. So in fact, the supplement we give right now, if you take a two gram of mag, mag team, is 140. Okay. okay, so we are just exactly 400. So we have, there's no, I mean, that's no problem. But before us, people have tried the other magnesium compound. The, someone has given magnesium chloride 360 to the people for five years and no, fact, uh, no side effects. Mm. So magnesium, we are very safe and there's no, no concern. Cyanide is a newcomer. Cyanide is, is a, so uh, it's a vitamin C metabolite. And the good news right now is we found that our body, our brain contain cyanide. It's an endogenous compound. Mm -hmm. So it's a part of our body. And uh, so, but you know, if you take a cereal, you know, it's almost like you, if you take the vitamin C for 10 years, higher dosage of vitamin C for 10 years, although Linus Pauli has proposed that, you know, he himself uh, taking, a, we recommend a two gram of mag, uh, uh, vitamin C that will generate two gram of cyanide, right? So he already have that. Uh, there is a little concern. Uh, so, so far, we obviously, we have done the, um, the animal study show. Uh, we give the animal uh, this mag much higher dosage of the magnesium serum than what we give to human and uh, for their lifetime. And we have no, we don't see any uh, problem. And uh, an interesting is that before we saw the magnesium serum, there's another company sold it called Magne a calcium serum. It has been sold in the United States for 10 years. So only thing there is we don't see any, you know, this kind of long-term human use, and mm -hmm. there's no report of toxicity. So, so in that, from that angle, there's nothing we can do. You know, even the drug, you go to drug, you know, you talk about you give a drug for 20 years, and uh, maybe end of the 20 years, some, some drug, something show up. Mm -hmm. So that's something we can only see in animal study, we don't see any toxicity. And we, we in fact, the, our standard is higher than even drug company because we give this compound for a lifetime. Most of the animal study, they only need to do 90 day toxic okay. study. We do the lifetime. We don't say any, uh, so they, um, we feel it's safe. Mm -hmm. But of course we fulfill the FDA uh, regulation. So there are scientific, you know, scientists evaluate our safety profile mm -hmm. uh, from animal and human experiment. But my philosophy is less the better, right? I mean, if sure. you don't know, and you take less. Yeah. I mean, even the food, you know, don't eat too much, <laughs> right? Yeah.